Good afternoon, distinguished WG faculty and fellow graduates. My name is Lisa Hallam, and I'm graduating today with a master's in healthcare administration. I want to thank the WG faculty who deem my words worthy of being shared with you all today. I am truly honored and grateful for this opportunity. Along with many of you, my journey at WGU would not have been possible without my amazing family's unwavering love and support. My husband, Jim, who's with me today, and my dear children, parents, and incredible mentor, Melissa Nichols, who's watching live, have been my rock throughout this journey. I am celebrating my 35th year in nursing. Thank you. Thank you. Most of my nursing career was devoted to a level one emergency and trauma center. As my husband will tell you, I spent many long hours, including weekends and holidays, trying to save the world, or at least help decrease the average 12 hour wait time in the emergency department. However, I became disenchanted with hospital politics and administrative decisions related to unfavorable patient care outcomes. So I left nursing altogether in October of 2019. It is important to note that this time was also known as pre-COVID. I joined the nonprofit world and began working in the field of grief counseling. Now fast forward a few months to March of 2020. New words had just entered our vocabulary, pandemic, COVID-19, social distancing, masking, ventilators, and most important, the lack of critical care nurses. I would watch the news daily, and the images of exhausted nurses in New York City were etched in my every thought. So this is when I knew what I had to do, and I called the hotline number to be deployed to New York City. My daughter was home from college during this time, and she heard me place this call. She did not want me to leave. So ultimately, I did decide to stay within my own community and return to the bedside to help those in need. I accepted a position at an amazing critical illness recovery hospital that specialized in ventilator patients. I spent the next two years in this role, and I was blessed to hold the hands of the most fragile patients as they succumbed to this terrible virus. I also was blessed to line the hallways to celebrate those who beat this illness and were miracles to so many of us. I regained my faith in hospital administration and I wanted to advance my nursing career. Knowing that I would need an advanced degree for an administrative position at this hospital, this is when my journey with WGU began, shortly after this time of June 2023. I had not been in an academic setting for over 34 years. It's a long time. So during my first call with my mentor, I struggled to navigate the most simplistic WG homepage, and then self-doubt began to creep back in. Melissa provided only words of encouragement, and she never judged me. Even when I emailed her multiple times to ask the most basic questions about my course studies, I set my expected graduation date for December of 2024. I thought this date was obtainable while working a full-time job, and truly the thought of writing a seventh edition APA formatted paper was causing me an entire new level of anxiety. Don't even get me started on the recording of my first Panopto video. I recorded over 20 takes before I submitted my first assignment. Those were rough. I had also never sat for an exam proctored by a video. Again, a little rough. My children, I'm very blessed, one is a doctor, another a CPA. They were both very supportive and hysterically laughing at my new level of anxiety. Once again, my mentor calmed my fears. She cheered me on with each passing assignment, and I was successfully able to finish my program in just nine months. Thank you.
That was all due to a very supportive family. I stayed on track with my scheduling, and I overcame every challenge that came my way, like many of you did too. The leaders within my hospital system, they recognized the value of my degree, and I was soon promoted to a top administrative position. I was, thank you. I was promoted to a role with chief in front of the title. And like many of you, I had been a frontline coworker for many years in my career. I was truly humbled to be placed in this position and I was ready to lead alongside my team. It was a testament to the transformative power of education and the doors it can open for all of us. Your advanced degree will open many more doors and opportunities. It will allow you to influence those around you and how you use this level of influence is so very important. I choose to follow the basic principles of a fearless late leader named Winnie the Pooh. I bet you didn't expect that name, but just give me a minute. Don't get me wrong, Oprah, Mother Teresa, they're right up there with Winnie the Pooh. But seriously, do you remember the early childhood lessons taught to us by Christopher Robbins and Winnie the Pooh as they wandered through the 100-acre wood? If not, let me refresh your memory for just a bit. You might recall the honey jar, the adorable friend named Tigger, Yet, the lessons learned from the wise old owl and Eeyore are often forgotten. The wise old owl teaches us, whenever you think you have all the answers, make sure you're hearing the right questions. He also understands that every strong leader needs willing followers. Most importantly, the wise old owl teaches us, there is never a bad time to be kind. Then there is sweet Eeyore. We all know one, right? The Eeyores in our lives, they teach us patience, kindness, and the importance of savoring the little things in life because someday you might realize they were the most significant things of all. So my degree from WGU has opened the brightest path for me as I walk down my own 100-acre wood. And my greatest wish is that it will do the same for each of you. Now, let us celebrate this incredible accomplishment together as wise night owls of the class of 2024. We did it. Thank you.